United States President Donald Trump on Wednesday expressed hope that he would meet North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sometime early next year. Addressing a press conference in the White House, Trump said that his administration is ready to lift the sanctions on North Korea, but asserted that Pyongyang has to be responsive to Washington. We are very happy how it's going with North Korea. We think it is going fine. We are in no rush. The sanctions are on. I'd love to take the sanctions off, but they, North Korea, have to be responsive to us. The missiles have stopped and the rockets have stopped. The hostages are home, he elaborated. Talking about his first meeting with Kim at Singapore in June, the U.S. president asserted that the two countries made more progress in the last four to five months. We made more progress in the last four to five months in Singapore than they made in 70 years. And nobody else could have done what I have done. We are in no rush. I'd like to take the sanctions off. It will happen sometime early next year, Trump added. Last month, Trump had said that he was planning to meet the North Korean leader after the midterm polls. During their unprecedented first meeting, Trump and Kim had signed a joint declaration, wherein the two leaders agreed to work towards achieving complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, in exchange of Pyongyang's security guarantees from Washington. Commenting on the results of the midterm elections, Trump said, last night, the Republican Party defied history to expand our Republican majority. We beat expectations in the House. He added that the Republicans had dramatically outperformed historical precedents, despite what he called a very dramatic fundraising disadvantage and very hostile media coverage, to put it mildly, CNN reported. Giving a stern warning to the Democrats, the U.S. president reminded them of the consequences of focusing on investigating his administration. However, Trump predicted that he would be politically benefited if the Democrats did spend their time on probing his government's activities. I think I'm better at that game than they are, he chuckled. Trump lauded lawmakers, who supported his policies and won seats in the midterm polls, while lashing out at others, for backstabbing him. He launched a sharp attack on Mia Love, a Republican from Utah, for pulling away from him, asserting that this led to her defeat in the elections. Mia Love gave me no love and she lost. Too bad. Sorry about that, Mia, Trump said. Ani, 